hear that. What I'm going to show you in this little session is some of the newer sounds that we can get out of Genos. This new, new era of music that we're able to come to from this instrument. But throughout the day, we'll also show you some, well, frankly, cheese, the ballroom styles, the big band styles, the, the James Last styles, because although what I'm going to show you here is a new sound, we have everything catered for for those Tyros generation customers as well. The other thing Genos is really able to do though is this really acoustic sound. The output from this instrument, the actual hardware outputs, the analog outputs, are the highest quality that we've ever put into a digital instrument. Which means that even if we just took the entire Tyros content and played it through this system, it would sound incredible, but we didn't do that. Everything in here is new. Literally everything. The guitar you're listening to there, brand new. Uh, the piano that you're about to hear, the C7, we've never had that in an instrument before. It's a brand new sample. So let's just have a listen to this new acoustic sound we're able to do. When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet sound is something we've really focused on in a big way and I said that this is the single most important instrument to Yamaha uh, if we take just the piano sound the CFX uh, that was the C7 before but if we take the CFX this has the best quality piano sound that we have in any digital instrument and if we think about that I'm comparing that to Avant Grand I'm comparing that to Clavinova and in fact the only instrument that has the same CFX sound is the Montage and we have better DSP in Genos so actually this has the best sounding piano sound. If we take just the sound of the CFX, it's a great piano sound. It's always very, very weird in the demo when you sit there and go, this is just a piano sound. But it is a big difference. It's a really important sound to a keyboard player. So let's take another style. This is 12-8 pop. And we'll just play the CFX over the top. No audio files, just a style and a sound. And it really is a great, great instrument. <laughs> playing in them, new basses, new guitars, like I say, everything is new. Uh, that also includes the drums, and the drums is actually not just new samples, but it's new technology behind them. So if I take one of the new kits, 
this is our new rock pit. This was sampled actually in a week long session in Peter Gabriel's studio in Box Studios, uh, which is, uh, no, Real World Studios in Box. It's near Bristol, near the Bath area. The reason why we went around the world to sample these kits is because for the first time we've not just sampled the instrument, we sampled the room ambience that they're recorded in as well. So they sound really, really light. More than that, uh, we, we increase the sample layer within the drum kit. And I don't just mean one sample layer. If we take just the hi-hat you're listening to there, or the snare drum, it's never going to sound the same with two hits. So every time that hi-hat is triggered, it sounds different to the one before. Every time that snare drum is hit, it sounds different to the one before. In fact, it, it's sampled up to 26 different times per inch. Mm -hmm. So the bass drum is always going to be different. The snare drum is going to be different. The hi-hat is always going to be different. Uh, I say up to 26 different times because, frankly, there's only so many times you can sample a caramel, but the key instruments are sampled multiple times, and it gives you this really full sound. I mean, just listen to this drum kit. It's a great sound. If we take a 60s kit, going back to the Ludwig type vintage kits, this is the open kit. It's so cool because it literally is just a kit with no padding in it, no pillows or anything in the bass drum. It's free there to ring. But again, this Revo drum technology is always changing the sound of the instrument. So if we take the style. However, if we stuff it full of pillows and things like that, we get the closed kit. Same drum kit, but processed completely differently. We take this. basic MIDI file through these Revo drums, everything sounds incredible. Couple that with the fact that, like I say, every other sound there is new for Genos. It's a big, big difference. But of course, we can play Stevie Wonder, we can play Coldplay, all of that sort of thing. But then if you start to apply the drums to the big band sound and the ballroom sound, but for this typical Tyros generation customer, let's have a listen to one of them. This is called Big Band Crooner. Just listen to the drums. <laughs>
we take a slightly more uh, easy listening approach, there is actually a whole category in here called easy listening. We'll look at the style categories in a little while because they will <coughs> change as well. But there's loads and loads of customer friendly styles in there. Take this one. It's a really simple style, but I'm going to use a slightly risque word here. It's a very nice style. Very, very nice style. Let's just play an introduction. <laughs> However, over the top of that, let's take another instrument. This is a new SA2 voice, so our super articulation 2 technology. The most realistic technology in any keyboard to recreate solo voices. This is a new flute board. And everything you're hearing is one of the two and a half thousand OTS that we have in here. And just to be clear, that was a nice string sound, a good string sound coming from our digital workstation. Let's talk about the strings. Real strings, of course, before in previous instruments, they were designed to sound really, well, the, the proof is in the name, real. But that meant that they were quite difficult to control. Really good for this hard-hitting classical sound. But maybe if we take that typical, well, the Mantovani sound like you've just heard, or that James Last smooth string sound, they weren't the strings to go for. So we took a completely different approach with the string sounds in here. They're called Kino strings. The reason they're called Kino strings is because Kino is German for cinema. And that gives you an idea of how we decided to sample these. I didn't realize this, but with, with movie scores, they record orchestras differently to how they do with the typical symphonic orchestra layout. You know, normally you have the violins and the violas and the cellos and the basses in this, this sort of stereo image. Well, with movie scores, Hans Zimmer does this. Uh, he puts the violins on the far side, he then puts the violas on both sides coming in, then the cellos, and it's this full mix of string sounds. That's what we've done with these string sounds. They're called Kino strings. They're really, really warm, really, really playable sounds. And of course they feature in the styles as well, so let's choose a new style. This is Romantic Movie, it's another free play style, and it just sounds incredible. So I'm just going to take a one touch setting, I'm going to push introduction three, and just have a listen to these, these strings.
and you find them all over the place in OTS. Yeah, so if you go for the new wall styles, or you go for the new fox trots or anything like that, they're all in there. So let's have a look at this strings hand in a slightly different context. I've just said lots of things about uh, soundtrack sampling. If we take these Kino strings and we play them in, in maybe a slightly different way, we get this very big, big orchestral sound. So great string sound. If we put that into maybe a slightly more modern context, we'll choose a new style. Uh, it's this one. However, we've also kind of gone the other way as well. We've heard a lot of acoustic stuff at the start. We also now spent a lot of time putting in actually what is now the single most popular instrument in the world. Uh, it's, it's this. Yeah, so we have a ukulele now. I bet you we will sell instruments to certain people purely because there is a ukulele in it. It's amazing. And this is all coming from the multi-pads. If I push them all together, we get this. subject of, of guitars and ukuleles and things like that. Every guitar in here is new, absolutely everyone. We've even sampled a, a resonated guitar in here as well. So if you listen to the country type of music, again, this is just an OTS. All of this is in there with all of the resonance behind it as well. Absolutely love it. Put that into a style. category of country in there. It's called Nashville. So we have the more traditional country, we also have now the modern country sound in there as well. So we have absolutely amazing pedal steel guitars, type of pedal steel in there. And that's clever enough that if you play two notes, the pitch bend will only bend the lowest note as the pedal steel is. If we take this with a style, it sounds like this.
sound absolutely incredible. While we're talking about genres in general, types of music, uh, we focus in a big way on a completely different area of music. And if you look through through history, this is where all of the big names first appeared. Uh, it's an era of music that I was kind of bolted onto the last year of. I was born in 1989, uh, so I'm talking about the 80s, and the 80s sounds in here are just amazing. Uh, and we didn't just go out there and, and kind of try to recreate those typical 80s drum sounds. We found the exact uh, limb units and all of these, these rhythm units that they used to use in the 80s to make this sound, and we sampled them into Genos. And it's just incredible. If we take one style here, it sounds like this. And this is the original sound. Just play something. We have this. Loads and loads and loads of 80s stuff. I mean, I could spend the entire half hour showing you 80s stuff. I could choose any style we can go for. For Love Shack, this sort of thing. doesn't matter whether we're looking at some really modern sounds as well. It just is incredible. It's the best keyboard we've ever created.